Hi, Clay here. Uh, I'm going to do an uh, early update on the gardening systems and things like that, and I just figured you might want to hear about it. Uh, Christmas is over, New Year's is over, and this is the time of year that people start thinking, hmm, gardening, we need to start, start our plants in the house for gardening. Well, now is the time to start collecting your information. I've been getting magazines in the mail, seed catalogs, and you're still getting more. And once you start getting these in the mail, you start uh, thinking, my summer garden. Uh, we're going to do the bucket system again this year. Uh, we had some great success with some, and we had some disappointing with others. I'm going to add the float valves so the water is there all the time. Where I didn't, I couldn't find the float valves last spring to keep the water in the troughs. Now that I've got it, I can get all that set up. We're going to set the tomatoes and everything out back this year behind the greenhouse, between the barn and the greenhouse to the big watering tank so they have constant water and the water the rainwater that comes off the roof of the barn goes into the tank and collects so that you have the constant flow and not have to keep checking the water you can check it once in a while but you won't need to check it constantly like when I had it on the front porch uh, those plants went through a lot of water and we ended up uh, every time it rained we'd end up using that rainwater for the plants, which is good for it, and not using well water or town water, which we get town water too, which has fluoride, chlorine, all the things that your plant shouldn't have. Uh, we're going to have constant rainwater this year because in the front porch we were using so much of the rainwater that we'd run out and have to use the, the hose to fill our reservoirs. So we're not going to end up doing that this year. And we had real great success with the tomatoes and some of the peppers. And we didn't have so much success with things like kale and things like that. Had good success with all the tomatoes, cherry tomatoes and all the different uh, herbs. The rosemary and all that all came out good. This year, <clears throat> we're going to try a little bit different now that we've got the greenhouse plastic that's supposed to be on the greenhouse we didn't get to utilize the greenhouse like we wanted to last summer we're going to this spring and we're going to grow some colder uh, climated vegetables and we're going to try a little bit of hydroponics and things like that and not a whole getting to a, a whole lot of it any of the hydroponics we do is not going to be with a lot of electric because we want to do this so that if any time in the future that the power is ever out you don't lose everything because you lost your power we're going to use you know the fish and things like that to keep the uh, plants going and whatnot and we're going to try bok choy this year. I've been doing a little bit of uh, been doing a little bit of uh, watching videos to get information on different vegetables that we haven't tried in the past and we want to try new ones and I've been watching bok choy and we're going to start from seed on some of it. We're going to put some in the ground. We're going to do some hydroponic. We're going to do some in the bucket system and we're going to see which is the best way of growing it. This will be our experiment for this season. I'd like to grow some horseradish and try that and make our own horseradish sauce. I know a lot of you people probably like horseradish on different things on uh, beef sandwiches or I like it on ham, turkey, beef, chicken. I like horseradish sauce on a lot of different things. 
So we're going to try some horse redder, some bok choy. We want to do a little bit more work and research with the rhubarb and uh, a little bit more research on what we're going to do with the bucket system for that matter. And we want everybody to ride along and see how we're doing it. And if you if you feel that you want to try it yourself, by all means try it and ask us questions. We'll try to give you the best ones we can give you. And any mistakes we make, we will let you know so that you don't make those mistakes because you don't need the costly mistakes. So we'll bite the bullet on some of the, the costs, but we're trying to do it economically where we're not spending hundreds and hundreds of dollars doing this that if we lose any money at all, it's 10, 20 bucks at that. So follow us this season and by all means go and order your seed catalogs and go through your seed catalogs and see which stuff you'd like to grow. A lot of people only grow tomatoes. That's all well and good. The bucket system's great for tomatoes. So, you know, by all means, I, I show videos on how to build the system and it's quick, easy, and not all that expensive. So, follow us this season and hopefully you'll enjoy the time you spend with us and I know we definitely will enjoy the time we spend with you. So this is Clay from Popel's Backyard Farm saying follow us on uh, YouTube and we will give you any information you'd like to find out about of anything we do. Alright, this is Clay signing off saying goodbye and join us again. Bye-bye.